This is at my studio window and it was painted by J.D. Ferguson in 1910. J.D. Ferguson began his studies as an artist in Edinburgh in the 19th century, but he actually kind of stormed out of art school at the time because in Scotland at the end of the 19th century, you weren't given nude models to draw or paint. It wasn't deemed acceptable. So Ferguson went off to his garret studio and for many years he began to evolve and refine and teach himself how to paint. Eventually, he went to France, he settled in Paris, and he was very much influenced by a lot of the great transformations that were happening in France at the time. The dawn of fauvism, an approach to painting that was led by artists like Henri Matisse and André Durand, which was all about not reproducing the way that the world looked, but creating images that were stylized, that were abstracted, that were saturated with color, that made you feel inside something about the experience that the artist was depicting on canvas. Ferguson painted many female nudes, and there is a real monumentality to the way that he has depicted this figure. She is stylized. Her face almost looks as if it's got a mask on it. And we know that at the time, Ferguson and many of the Fauves, and indeed Pablo Picasso, were very much influenced by the discovery of African tribal sculpture. And that kind of stylization that you see in those artworks was filtering in to European painting at the time. This piece was painted about uh, three years before what I think of as Ferguson's most important work, Les Eus, which is a big dance, a frieze of dancing naked figures, men and women. They're stylized, they're full of sweeping dynamic forms that evoke the style of art deco that was beginning to infiltrate design at the time. But they were all about creating images that felt monumental, whilst expressing what Ferguson saw as a kind of primal life force that energizes us all. This is a beautiful painting, but it's also a very powerful painting. And it's a kind of essay in many of the things that were becoming vital to Ferguson's intellectual approach to painting between 1910 and 1913. Culture Perth and Kinross's new exhibition, Ferguson, is open at Perth Museum and Art Gallery until the 29th of February 2020. Admission is free and you must come and see it because it will brighten up those dull Scottish winter afternoons.